Hello, brave actors. I'm Richard Klein. Take a quick second and think about the in-between moments. In between rehearsals, in between performances, in between auditions. And let me ask you, in these in-between moments, who is in charge of getting you to the next place? All right, here we go. One thing I've noticed a lot lately in my classes and also in various online groups and forums for actors is this wide open calling out into the ether for advice. Hey, I'm auditioning for this play. What's an audition monologue? This musical's coming up. What song should I sing? And I feel that calling out in such a wide open fashion will not serve you in getting to the next place. Think about it. If I post online, what's a good audition monologue? Who is answering? You have no idea. Of course, we all are a member of these online groups and we want to support and help each other. But the people that you're asking don't know you necessarily. They don't know your work. They don't know the theater company or school you're auditioning for. They don't know the director. They have no idea. When we blindly listen to the advice of others without further planning, it gives the power of our career journey to someone else. Is there anyone else besides you that cares about you and your career or that knows where you want to be? So before asking for advice from your peers or mentors, take a minute and think about where you are and where you would like to be. And then you can ask clear, informed questions that will get you there. Let's say you have an audition coming up for A View From The Bridge. Rather than calling out to the ether, Hey, hey View From The Bridge from audition, the bridge I, need audition. I need a monologue, stat. 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 Read the play once or twice to get a sense of the plot and the characters, and then ask your community, Hey, I have an audition for the V from the bridge and I really want to play Catherine. Can anyone recommend a monologue with a character that is a young girl becoming a woman and standing up for herself? Now I know that no matter where the responses come from, they will be directing me toward my goal, to play Catherine. For another example, let's say that you are sitting in a meeting with your acting teacher or your acting coach after the run of a show and you want feedback on your performance. Instead of sitting down and saying, hey, so tell me about my performance. I really want your feedback. Take a minute and think about what you want feedback on. Okay, I've been working on having really clear articulation with my speech and also living truthfully on stage. Cool. So now you walk into the meeting and you say, in this performance, I was working on my sibilant S, especially in the highly emotional moments of the play, and also wanting to stay truthful in the moments that have really complicated blocking or maybe even stage combat. Can we talk about what you saw in my performance and give me advice on what I can work on in these areas before the next show I do? We can go on and on with examples of very open-ended questions and how to narrow them down more and more specifically. But the bottom line is that you are in charge. You are in the driver's seat. You are the one that will get you to the next place, no matter what that place is. And the guidance and help that you get from your support group will be much more of a fast pass if you are clear on the information you need. Thank you for tuning in today. Next week, I will be sharing with you how you can discuss acting with your friends and family this holiday season. So please click subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss it or any other insight for the training actor. Break a leg.